What's going on people, welcome to 127 Works, and today we're going to have a look at a fairly simple fix for a very irritating problem, which is choppiness and stutteriness in your headset in your Oculus Quest 2 via link cable on the PC. There'll be a timestamp in the description if you just want to get to the fix, but it's probably worth hearing if the problem that I'm about to describe is the problem that you're having, but if you just want to see what the fix might be to see if you've already tried it or whatever, timestamp will be in the description. So, the problem, stuttering, choppiness in the headset, in VR, on link, even just using the default settings, no matter what settings I've tried, I get this choppiness in the headset not on the screen weirdly enough you can actually see it in happening in real time to me when i i was testing the ford focus rs in my set of course of video from two or three weeks back you could see that i just spent a lot of that video complaining about this choppiness that you couldn't you couldn't see it in the recording which is a good thing i guess like thankfully that's like it didn't ruin the video very irritating very frustrating just a general kind of like almost like screen teary skipping every couple of frames like just again awful awful to experience in the headset kind of has made pc vr kind of almost impossible for me at this point and whenever i make these how-to videos it's usually a combination of everything that i've read on forums everything that i've seen in other videos and i combine them all together throw in a bit of my own experience and kind of put it into one easy place this one actually google didn't help at all with i stumble across I say not at all, but for the most part, I just kind of put two and two together on this. Having learned a few bits and pieces from Google and, and forums and Reddit and stuff like that, and some videos about what is possible through o Oculus Diagnostics, the Oculus Debug tool, just the settings in Oculus in general, but bringing the little bit that I've learned and then just kind of what I came up with myself to use all in one. So, yes, that is the problem. Here is the fix. So this should be the timestamp moment. You should be just joining us now. It's very simple. Your Oculus Link cable, right? This is nothing fancy. This is like 25 euro from a shop called like Harvey Norman. It's just like some random generic retailer here in Ireland. Not the official link cable that they charge, obviously, that outrageous 80, 90 euro or whatever for. I think it was like 25 quid, USB C to USB 2.0. It's not even USB 3.0. Plugged into the front. 2.0 port on my PC. I initially thought that that might be the issue. I was like, okay, maybe it's just a bad cable and do need to invest in the official cable. You don't. So, it's straightforward enough. Oculus Quest 2 and Touch, if you go into, um, and also just for what it's worth, you can see there it's i'm using the standard refresh rate and resolution again just testing things i was wondering maybe if the, the settings were too high in game or if the resolution or the refresh rate were too high and they were causing in general choppiness but again the fact that it wasn't in the game on the screen kind of rule that out but you know that just we're trying but you can see here anyway usb test is what you want to do you'll probably have to run it twice i don't know why but usually when i press test connection for the first time and i think it's going to do it here yeah nothing happens for the first try right so close it over here it'll pop up because it's just obviously recycling the um, thing yeah so it, al it always fails the first try for some reason try it again and you will see now that there is a timer counting down so it's about five four three two one it'll count down and it's going to give you your specific cable in the specific usb slots maximum bandwidth as you can see there so in the usb slot that i have it in which I, again through testing i found out is the fastest one with this cable my bandwidth is 357 megabytes on a usb 2.0 con or 2.0 connection obviously recommends usb 3 i can probably increase that by say buying a better usb 3.0 connection uh, or sorry cable and plug it into the back of the pc but for now this is what i have this is how i fix my problem very important to note Bandwidth 357 megabits per second or megabytes per second. I can never remember which one. Keep that in mind. 357. Just call it 350 roughly, right? So now that you know that, you can go to your Oculus kind of diagnostics install location, which is in standard. Usually if you haven't messed with it, it's in C, program files, Oculus support, and then Oculus diagnostics and you just click oculus debug tool i think i've already got open in here actually i've changed some things as i said testing out and that kind of stuff over the over the last couple of weeks or whatever trying different things i've tested changed some things i know i've changed distortion distortion curvature to low again that's not super important in code resolution width i've got that at 2784 there's an article again doing my research there's an article that recommends that exact number for my exact graphics card which is a 2060 however the most important thing is the encode bitrate mbps so mine is set at 280 why is it set at 280 so remember that number mbps 357 that's the maximum output that this cable can handle when i was doing the testing when i was playing a set of course at that time when i was playing whatever horse hot dogs horse and hand grenades whatever i was playing i had it set to 350 because that was a recommended setting from that article but I presume that article was using maybe a higher quality cable, maybe the official link cable that had a higher MBPS sort of thing. And so they recommended, oh yeah, like 370 or 350 is kind of recommended for that graphics card with that cable. But I know that my graphics card or my cable, sorry, isn't capable of doing that kind of MB, MBPS or whatever. So what I did was I started at 350 and then I brought it down in tens until I realized, okay, well, this isn't doing that. And so I, I tested it by doing 350, 340, 330. And again, it was it, kind of effort intensive. The simplest way to do it is pick again 
game that you want to test it in, pick, say your most played game, say it's a set of course or whatever it might be, pick your most, play, most played game, Beat Saber, whatever. Change the setting until it's something below, obviously, your cable's recommended um, bandwidth from that from that Oculus test. Change it to something like that. So again, as I said, my one was 357, it started at 350. All the numbers and in increments of 10 that I found were too high, and then until I got to just 300, I was like, okay, I'll just try 300. I skipped a step, which I skipped a few. 300 was still high, still seeing a little bit of choppiness. 280 is what I settled on personally, as I can see here. So the important thing though, is that you, there's no obviously save button. You're probably wondering how do you confirm that? The important thing is to click service, restart Oculus service, and wait for that to come around. Now everyone's setup is different. Like if you are using Steam VR, you'll have to restart Steam VR every time you restart the Oculus service and that kind of thing. Or you might be using an open composite like me, but again, with the Nomai or whatever it's called, like Outer Worlds mod thing, it doesn't work with open, uh, composite so you have to use steam vr but yeah this is the biggest most important thing again essentially all the other things that you get all the other little tweaks and that kind of thing that you can make are all well and good but the biggest one is once you've got everything else like your render resolution all that kind of stuff set to, to where you like it do that test on your cable go to encode bit rate start at whatever the kind of the equal number is so if you've got a much better cable than i do and your starting point is say 400 mbps start at 490 and then do 480 and then if it's still super choppy at 480 maybe go down to 460 440 and then if it's absolutely smooth at 440 maybe bump it up to 450 and see if it still stays smooth that kind of way just do it in increments of 10. that was my testing method that's how i did it and for me now i can say i'm after loading up h3 vr horse, hot dogs horseshoes and hand grenades where i could barely look down the down the sides of the weapons that i was using because of all the choppiness and stutteriness completely ruined it i'm after playing there for about 10 20 minutes trying out different ri uh, rifles tried it out in the out outer wilds vr mod absolutely fine and i'm going to confirm it by testing with some other things half like phallics and stuff like that to make sure that it's actually you know is, is is still grand but from what i can see it's completely solved it and it's a game changer anyway gone on long enough didn't want this to be gone over more longer than 10 minutes and hopefully it should be just under that by the time i edit it yeah hope it helped if you enjoyed it please do leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here thanks for watching and goodbye